gives you guys welcome to my channel and to my first video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my wash and go routine but first i need to take down these braids these two and a half week old braids they got to go so as you see me doing here i am just sectioning my braids into four and then braiding those sections just to keep them out of my way After I'm done braiding up those sections, I'm going to take one section and split it in half and then cut three quarters down. I'm going to do that to both small sections. This pretty much speeds up the process of taking down my braids. I could go further up, but you know, I don't want to cut my hair. Better safe than sorry. After I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and take one of the small sections and wrap it up and out of the way and get to taking down these braids. I'm going to do this all over my head. taking all the braids out of one section i'm just gonna go ahead and brush out all of that loose damaged or shedded hair four to five hours to take down all of my braids and in just a second you will see what my hair is looking like when they are all out so this is my hair fresh out the shower nice and clean I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair, two in the front, two on the sides, and one down the back. After sectioning, I'm going to start working on this back section and start adding my product. The first product I'm going in with is the Do Grow Stimulating Hair Oil. I'm going to add that to my scalp, my ends, and then the rest of my hair. Next, 
Next, I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Now I'm going to go ahead and top it off with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. After working all those products in, I'm going to go ahead and take a small section out of this large section and wrap it out of the way. Now I'm going to spray down that small section with the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush that through, making sure all strands are coated. And then I'm going to go in with the Eco Style Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. Now I'm going to take that small section and section it even smaller. And then I'm going to start to shingle those smaller strands. This is pretty much just taking the small piece and twirling it around my finger this makes my curls really uniform and defined After shingling those pieces, this is how my curls are looking. I'm literally just going to do this all over my head, adding my oil, my leave-in, my cream, and then spraying it down with water, brushing it out, making sure everything is coated, adding my gel on top, and then shingling. keep them in for three weeks take them out let my hair breathe for a week and then put them back in if i'm gonna be getting braids again but lately i have been keeping my braids in for longer than i should have been and it has caused my hair to dry out mostly the ends as you are about to see but that's okay i'm gonna be taking a break from protective styling and really focusing on getting my hair back to normal and i will also be getting a trim so that should definitely help This is my hair all done and curled up. I'm gonna go ahead and start diffusing my hair just to get it dry a little bit. Not fully, but maybe about 30%. diffused my hair for a bit i went ahead and took the nozzle off and just started blow drying my hair mainly to get the top part really dry after drying for a bit this is what my curls are looking like
now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my curls up with a light scarf so they can dry overnight. Y'all, ignore that white stuff on my scarf. I had decided to do my edges earlier and I happened to use a little too much gel. So this is the next morning and y'all my hair did not dry it is still wet but that's okay i'm gonna go back in with the diffuser and blow dry it to make sure it is fully dry Now that my hair is fully dry, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put it into sections, those same five sections, two in the front, two on the sides, and one in the back. Now I'm not gonna lie y'all, when I stretch my hair, I go ham. I just love the length and I love the look that it gives me. So these are my results and I absolutely love them but if I'm gonna be honest the Eco Styler Gel did not give me the hold I was looking for but it still turned out great. Now my go-to gel is the Wet Line Extreme Gel, the green tub not the blue one. That stuff is amazing and it always gives me the hold that I desire. But you guys will see that in another video. For now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a video. Hey, yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.